Wow. 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 Magic. Look at the drip on the Reese's Puffs cereal. It's incredible. Living my best. Living my best in spite of all the rest. And that's what you have to do. I mean, you gotta, you have no choice. We're gonna start a stream soon. I think we're gonna do it. My heart's in the right place. I think we can make a stream happen soon. I believe in you guys. I believe in me. Stream is starting soon. Believe in magic. Miracles. Take some cheese. We have cheese. We have everything you need to get loose. Making myths and streams with Robert Patillo. Thank you, that anarchist dog. We're getting loose. It's midweek. They want us to be depressed. They want us overanalyzing our tax returns and this vaccine. And, and we just need to focus on being ourselves again. And that's some horny, shady human beings full of hope and love. They want, they want us to eat each other alive. That's right, that anarchist dog. And we're not going to fucking Shall do that. We play we're game? not going to do that whatsoever. We're going to play... I think we're going to play some video games. I think we are. I made a mix of my favorite. I can't help it. That's how I am. I mean, look at this. 51,000 games. Look at all the systems. We can explore a lot of systems. We can make the myths together. We can figure out a lot about ourselves and that's what it's all about all right look at all these nintendo neo geo sega genesis if i had this system in 1991 my fellow friends would have killed for me i would have been the charlie manson of the block 51,000 games in 1991. I would have died. I would have died. I would have never peed. I would have had a kidney infection. This is one of my favorites. I, I can't say it enough. There's nothing like killing a bull. I, I, I mean, it, 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 it's a release that needs to happen. I don't know if you've ever killed a bull in real life. I know I haven't. I'm gonna load this up with quarters. But I mean, the release of playing Bullfighter, 1984. Your dad was killing bulls in the arcade while you were just a hint in your mother's eye. Oh, ooh, see, just like that, just like that. Oh, he's pissed now. I didn't get a kill, kill shot in. I'm stabbing him, my heart's in the right place. Ooh, just like that. These bulls. These bulls get in your head. You gotta think like a bull. That's the key to this. You can't let the bull get in your head. You gotta accept that it's out of your hands. Oh, ooh, I wanted it bad. The bull felt that. Oh my God. Here we go. Just like that, just like that. I stabbed the bull a couple times. He knows it. He knows, nice. I killed the bull. I killed the bull. Take a bow. Remember that Madonna song? She was banging the bullfighter and they made a music video. Take a bow. You feel just like that guy in that Madonna music video when you kill a fucking bull on this game. Get over here, needle dick. Come here. Come here. There you go. Oh, stabbing him. And that's it. Two for two. If I was in a real arcade, oh, he's alive, shit, like Pet Cemetery. He's coming back, he's coming back, son of a bitch. He's, he's more pissed than ever. All right, guy's got a big gaping wound on his back, but he's a warrior, Jesus. Jesus, here we go, here we go, stabby, oh! Wow, big comeback from this bull. It's fine, 
It's good. Daddy O is in the house. We're just warming up. We're we're fighting some bulls. We're just trying to make it happen. Be creative. D Chimes is in the house. <sighs> oh, I got trampled on. I got trampled on. Part of my bandana is in my eye underneath my cow outfit. But just like that, just like that, I killed another bull. That's what it's about. Take a bow. You're killing bulls. It's an incredible feeling to plunge a knife into any of these creatures. In real life, I would never do it. I would never believe in harming bulls. I mean, for the real bull fights, are you kidding me? They, like, cut off the bull's nuts before the fight, get them all on Percocet, so they're all benzoed out. And then they push the bulls in there. Bull doesn't even know what the hell's going on. They already stabbed it secretly a bunch of times. All right, we're playing again. I mean... I didn't even, cr I cracked number seven. I'm the seventh best bullfighter. Let's do this. This is what it's all about, people. These goddamn bulls, they fucked my hand puppet, P. Mooney. They're monsters. That's right, P. Mooney, my kindergarten hand puppet. Son of a bitch. Come on, come on, you son of a bitch. Oh, the, he knocked me down. They're bringing in another guy to distract the bull. And I'm coming out of my coma. And here we go, for the title. I'm getting, I'm getting some good shots in on his back. Ooh, here we go, here we go. He's pissed, he's pissed, he's pissed. Ah, just like that, the bowl gets you. Sometimes you eat the bar, sometimes the bar eats you. We. J we got the bull by the horns, and what do you do? When you get a bull by their horns, you get fucked. You get fucked hard in front of a bunch of strange people in an arena. Ugh. Just checked me into the boards like Ray Bork. Kicking my ass right now. These bulls get in your head. They do. Maybe I don't want to really kill one of these guys. All right. I'm now in blue. That means when you're in blue on this game, you're up shit creek without a paddle. Your back's against a wall. This bull is harvesting some bad thoughts about me. I got some stab marks on him, but that doesn't count. I need a kill shot. Ooh, ooh, he's knocked down my weapon and I'm knocked down again. Whew. Oh, I, I lost my sword. I need another weapon. They're tossing it into the arena. This is one of the most dramatic fights yet for me. Damn. Damn, this guy is a fighter. Oh, he's pissed now. He's pissed. Whew. Just like that. And the bull has taken us out of the game. But that's all right. That is all right. I mean, we're just warming up. That is bullfighter. Take some cheese. Relax. Guys are amazing. Halfway through another moderately shitty week. Okay week. I hope it's okay for you guys. Is it? You can let me know. This is a safe space. Look, I have cheese. I have everything you would have ever wanted on a platter. Tiny, beautiful little red peppers. Tell me your secrets. I hope you guys are getting off to an okay week. I mean, I'm kind of pissed. Somebody stole P. Mooney, this beautiful puppet. That's right, P. Mooney. Wonder, beautiful wee. hand puppet I that my kindergarten teacher, Miss Typert, was using to teach us about the life and times of a beautiful, magical man, P. Mooney. He's blind, but even though he's blind, he can see more than any of us. Incredible human being. And I know just the people, just the people who stole this puppet. And we're going to get him now. These fucking guys, they stole P. Mooney. That's right. The guys in the original Double Dragon. Look at this. This is the original arcade cabinet. This game is only for use in Japan only. So we're breaking the law. We are not there. They're going to bring their 1988 lawyers and they're going to come and sue us. Here we go. 
putting in a lot of quarters and we're going right into the battle these guys stole our fucking puppet P Mooney we can't we can't let them forget nice I'm feeling good already this is an easy move set remember this is the actual arcade game this is not the Nintendo version it sure as fuck is not the Sega Genesis this is the Nintendo version it's beautiful it's glorious I used to put in five dollars worth of quarters in this game when my mum wanted to get Rob Patillo, a young, beautiful, ten-year-old Rob Patillo, out of the house. She'd get me quarters. She wanted me out. She wanted to be with my dad, Big Lou. Beautiful times. Yeah, that's like 30 bitcoins today. You know? My mum wanted to be with this guy, Big Lou, my dad. The Big Moose himself. I'm gonna throw up some Big Lou emojis. What a king this guy is. What a king. Here we go though. We can't focus in on Big Lou. Whew. These guys stole a beautiful puppet away from us. Fucking P Mooney. I can't I can't stop thinking about what they did to that poor puppet. Oh my god. I'm going to go up the ladder. And I'm going to see if there's trouble up here. Oh, look at her with that beautiful blonde afro. Look at that Jose Canseco dude pounding through the wall. We got a lot of adversaries. Adversaries. That's a big word for me, apparently. Here we go. Dropping down. I think I hurt myself, but I rebounded pretty well. I got the whip. Oh, but I just got my asshole handed to me. That's fine. That's fine. That's what happens when body starts slapping from doing the wild thing. We're just, oh, he's down. He's back up, though. This guy's a trooper. Just kicking ass right now. What's up, Dabaka? Daraka? Dabaka? That is a $5 screen name right there. I'll try to pronounce it in the cheese room. I'm getting my fucking asshole handed to me. Nice. Oh, I need that whip. I need to show this guy who's boss. Let me have the whip. Jesus. He does not want me to whip him. Son of a bitch. This guy is swinging for the fences. Fuck you. We can't forget one thing that these sons of bitches took this hand puppet. I can't stress that enough. P. Mooney. This is a beautiful blind hand puppet. I'm incredible. Look at look at P. Mooney on the cross. Somebody sent this artwork on the Discord. My God, it is an amazing, amazing, amazing time to have just an incredible, incredible hand puppet stolen, stolen by these motherfuckers. So we got to get back in the game, and we got to fucking get back. Mooney, our hand puppet. I got a whip. Oh, look at the kitty. Look at the kitty up on the trash barrel. These graphics are incredible. This is 1988 at its finest. Divinity kitten in the house. P. Mooney must be saved. Oh, these assholes are laying into me. I got to put more quarters in the game. I just... Back in like 1988, you would put like a couple of quarters up on the glass. That's what they would do. If you remember that, they had, you know, the arcade cabinet and, you know, the video game had glass on it and you put your quarters up there to signify nobody gets next game. You have that game for the next hour. Sometimes you put on like, you know, 10, 20 quarters. My God. Look at Red the Cat. Red the Cat is right there, JJ McCheese beautiful cat I just fed her fancy feast she should be sitting on the wall I gotta be honest with you guys she killed a lot of vermin in the last couple of weeks she's murdered like several groundhogs around the Pasadena area Jesus this guy doesn't fuck around this is very intimidating I'm gonna grab the barrel 
And I'm gonna use the barrel, that's right, and then I'm gonna whip. Oh my god, he just threw me over my head, over his head. Okay, he's dead. After hitting him with like, probably a 200 pound barrel of cat shit. And that's it, mission one is done. Cowabunga. And burpees. Cowabunga and burpees. Red is a fancy kitten. This guy just threw like an M80 at me. There's a lot of violence in this game. Not good. I don't like violence. I wish I could hug it out with these guys. Bang uglies, as they would say in prison. Prison's not easy, man. Sometimes you make a good friend. You have to make a good friend in prison. I can be a good friend to you in prison. But you gotta make a good friend the first day. And you guys are gonna be learning a lot about each other. Anyways. Divinity Kitten went to the Acme School of Defense. I'm not so much. I pretty much, my fight training was Double Dragon. I used this game to figure out how to fight people in real life and obviously I got my asshole handed to me a bunch. But that's fine. I wasn't meant to be a fighter. I was meant to get stoned and play video games dressed as a boy cow. That was my calling in life. That's what baby Jesus wanted. Oh, Jesus. All these dudes mean business. There's not a sleeping guy on, a sleeper on this. You know, a guy you can just talk to you guys about and forget about him. They're all warriors. Okay. He's having a little problem getting up that fence there. Uh, there you go, sailor. That was kind of weird. I, I, I went over to help him. I was like, are you okay? <laughs> warriors, come out and play! Dara, that's right. Okay, Darab. I like that, Darab. This guy's got a beautiful white leather vest on. He's wearing tight leather pants. It's just an incredible scene with a lot of these characters. I'm gonna grab this bat. I'm gonna show him who's boss. We cannot let our enemies intimidate us. Sometimes we might need a bat. <laughs> I, Luke is in the house and he's spitting out truth I didn't study under karate master Fred Valari or train in his dojo above Tompkins magazines it was above that Danvers magazines building I did train for karate when I was in the second and third grade with Fred Valari in Danvers Massachusetts I like a lot of people saw the karate kid 1984 and I wanted to be a karate master so I went to Fred Valari's which was above the Danvers magazine store it was pretty incredible I only made it to an orange belt because I didn't like the other guys a lot of them were killers a lot of dads who had kids who were smoking marijuana and Cigarettes by the second grade, they were sending them to Fred Valari's studio to receive deadly karate training. I, I, I didn't feel comfortable. Every time I had to spar, I felt like it was World War III. But I learned a couple of things. I learned how to block. There's my block. And now I have deadly Fred Valari training. I'm a killer. Look at me. I mean, this isn't as much as, you know, karate as hitting somebody with a baseball bat. Oh, look at this guy in the green. The gecko. Gotta take out the gecko with a Louisville slugger here, dude. There's a... None of these guys on this game you can sl you sleep on in the arcade. All of these guys are top-notch karate experts. My god. Dara did Taekwondo, enjoyed Karate Kid as a kid, but no retreat, no surrender, where Jean-Claude Van Damme is the villain. I love Jean-Claude Van Damme. I am getting my asshole handed to me, but thank God I put 11 quarters into the game, right guys? I mean, that's what's great about these games, is you actually had to put in the fucking quarters. You know, even if it's an emulator, 
I still need to tell the computer I put in 11 quarters or it won't let me play the game. Oh my god, these guys are so... I gotta get out from between them. I, I have to get out from between them. Yeah, he's dead. He's dead. I want to continue. I'm born again. Okay, I'm dead. I just jumped off the cliff. I just committed suicide. My god. Divinity Kitten was smoking weed in the sixth grade. I'm sorry. No, that doesn't make you a monster. I'm talking about the second grade. A lot of these kids had facial scars in the second grade from fighting. That's how bad it was. One of them had a knife wound he got at the arcade in second grade at Aladdin's Castle. Yeah, blaze up. Smoke a little bit. Relax. I'm just talking about the guys in my second grade karate class. That's all I'm talking about. That's all I threw under the bus. You know, were these kids in my karate class. Fred Valaris in second grade that already had facial scars from karate, from fighting adversaries in Malden, Saugus. Whoever else was teaching karate in those days. I went to a couple of tournaments in Lynn. I threw some people around in Lynn, in like a big field house. My dad was going nuts. That's like the closest I ever got to making my dad happy. Was like, um, you know, this dad right here, Big Lou Patillo, was when I was like kicking people's asses, <laughs> doing like karate, and um, God, I mean, I, I, I. I I was a kid, I was a child, I was like in third grade and I was fighting weird dudes at a field house in Lynn, Massachusetts. I kicked one of them in the stomach, I'll never forget, I mean it was during a match. I had my gi on. I still have pictures up in Peabody, Mass at the old man's house. I looked like a warrior. I looked like a young Keanu Reeves before God took my hair away. God was like, we're not going to make it that easy for you in life. You don't need a hairline. Here. Sean Connery looks good, bald. But back in second grade, Jesus Christ, I look like a Roman emperor. I look like Joaquin Phoenix. I was kicking kids' asses. I was tossing dudes in a Lynn Field house. Never forget that. If you forget anything else I tell you tonight... Don't forget that I was tossing dudes in a Lynn Field house in second to third grade. I won a trophy. My dad went nuts. My dad's like, hit him, Bobby! And, and like the bleachers, because it was like a field house, so they had like the bleachers for basketball still in there. My dad's hiding up there just screaming at the referees, do your job! You know, this guy... Lou Patillo. He was up there just screaming like, Come on, referee! Get him a body bag! Alright. See, the bummer about the arcade games is you can't pause. You cannot pause on these. What you can do is save. I just saved the game right there. So, I saved the game. And I want you guys to have some cheese. Don't worry, I saved the game. Relax. You're hearing my guy scream in the background. I'm going to turn it down. Just enjoy yourself. It's Wednesday. Don't get angry. You know, we have a lot of beautiful artists in here. Don't ever forget that. All of them love you. Remember, these sons of bitches took this puppet, P. Mooney. Beautiful, brave P. Mooney. Look at him. The Holy Spirit is with him. They crucified Pete Mooney. Pete Mooney died for our sins. He died. All right, cheeky girl's in the house. Cheeky girl who does her own stream. This one. This is cheeky girl's stream for Mother's Day. Incredible. Amazing, amazing stuff. We have some amazing artists on the show. We do. It's true. It's true. They're just absolutely... Look, Snappy Bakes who's on here. She drew the towers. 
And look at this, our own brood man. Our brood man made this uh, obese unicorn uh, named Ulysses. And uh, another friend of mine who watches under the name Red Blue Blue Red, um, he made this soda. It's called a Yoda soda. Absolutely incredible. Um, it's like sparkling water. I don't want to give away the guy's ingredients, you know? That's kind of a raw deal. Giving away another man's drink, but what I'm trying to tell you guys is we have a lot of artists here. But right now, we're going after some sons of bitches who took this fucking puppet, P. Mooney. Oof. All right. Take some cheese. Relax. Let's get back into this. I saved the game, so we're right back into it. These sons of bitches, you don't get away with that. You don't get away with taking a guy's puppet. It's just not right. Gonna kick the shit out of him now. Oni Spike's in the house watching me beat the shit out of a guy who stole a puppet. A hand puppet. Who's next? I got an aluminum bat. I'm high on marijuana. I'm thinking about my dad. Not a good combination. If you're an iron chef, you don't want those ingredients because you're about to get your asshole handed to you. That's right, you son of a bitch. Come up here. Come up here. Oh, well, you got the bat now. I, I got to be a little bit more defensive. Here I go. Karate. Nice. New moves. Nice. Hip toss. Oh, you're a warrior, huh? Now I have a bat too. Why would you guys steal a fucking puppet? Why would you guys steal fucking P. Mooney? A beautiful hand puppet that was blind. They stole... These guys stole a fucking blind puppet. Nobody survives this beating. Oh, you're jumping down from a tree? Well, fuck you. You took P. Mooney. This is like Death Wish. I'm like Charles Bronson. You sons of bitches took P. Mooney. You all are gonna get fucked by the king. That's my catchphrase. You're all gonna get fucked by the king. Just for this game. That's not my catchphrase in real life. My uh, catchphrase in uh, real life is uh, try to stay in school for a year or two so you can get some phone numbers. That's my catchphrase in real life. Everybody knows me for that. Here we go. Continue. Hell yeah. I'm not going to give up. These assholes stole a hand puppet that's very valuable to all of us. P. Mooney. This puppet. I can show you the puppet and kick this guy's ass at the same time. Jedi Master. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, I'm going to pick up this knife. I'm going to stab people to death for stealing a hand puppet. That's how crazy I am. That's how much I'm willing to fucking do to people that I hardly know because they stole a hand puppet. Everybody dies. I'm being attacked by 28 Patrick Swayze's. They just took the design for Patrick Swayze from the Outsiders. Holy shit, that's not Patrick Swayze. That's like a fucking Jeff Bezos on steroids. Look at that fucking Jeff Bezos jacked up Jose Canseco looking motherfucker. Jesus, get away from me. This guy's all pissed because Elon Musk is selling out on Bitcoin. Just announced an hour ago that Tesla is no longer accepting Bitcoin as a currency. So Bitcoin's dropping and this guy has like three of them. He's livid. And I kind of look like a young Elon Musk, a blonde Elon. All right. Kicked his ass though. Because I have the power of the Holy Spirit inside me. Because these motherfuckers stole P. Mooney. Oh, that's a big jump. That is a big jump right there. Ooh. Here, take some cheese. Yeah, Elon's probably going to switch to the Doge. The doggy coin. I'm going to jump this for P. Mooney. But I'm going to also uh, smoke for P. Mooney. So this is for you, P. Mooney. Each day's a gift. Never forget that. People are going to tell you otherwise. They're going to tell you that your childhood was lies. My childhood was awesome. I went to an arcade at the Liberty Tree Mall. This mall. That's me right there, Bobby Patillo in front of Aladdin's Castle. That's Aladdin's Castle. 
It's beautiful. You put tokens in the token machine. You saw what things mattered. You saw what you were worth in the arcade. You met legends down there. I met Vermin Supreme, a couple of drug addicts, wasteoids, a felcher. But I, I saw all these incredible video games right before my eyes. I was 17, I could have used a few pounds. But I was a grown boy warrior. Ugh. You know? And then this guy started fucking with me big time. But that's not what this is about. It's about the Liberty Tree Mall. And Aladdin's Castle. Look, a young Bobby Patillo. Look at him. I was full of hope. The jocks wouldn't come to the arcade too much. They were too busy lifting weights, getting ready for their karate tournaments. This is where I thrive. These dark corridors. Yeah, I had a beautiful polo shirt on. It was hot shit. Look at the dragon slayer. We were goddamn gods. All right. I got 45 seconds left. Let me turn this up now. I'm trying to do a couple things at once. If only I did this during school, I would have been a professor right now. Instead, I'm stoned. Play an arcade Oh, right in the water. Here we go. Here we go. That is not an easy jump. And I can't even make this I can't even make this guy run. Here we go. Nice. Brood man in the house. Swinging a baseball. Oh! I thought that guy almost tossed me in the river. Alright, alright. Kicking ass now. We can't be afraid of these guys. They stole a puppet named P. Mooney. Oh fucking A. He, he, he put me literally right over that hole. I'm continuing. All right, I'm getting over here where there's dry fucking land. God, he's flipping me like I'm just cat furniture. Flipping me like I'm cat furniture. Not that I ever flip cat furniture. Oh, no, I don't even have cat furniture. Red, Red, this beautiful sexual outdoors cat, she uses trees as cat furniture she uses bushes as cat furniture jesus look at all these guys they're all ganging up for a shot at the king me and you know what i'm not fucking afraid i'll take on four of them i'll take on eight of them oh they got knives too because jesus christ i'm hulking up you guys took a fucking puppet a blind puppet named p mooney you you're the ones that are gonna die. Yes, I just stabbed a motherfucker in the neck with a fucking knife. Over a puppet. Over a puppet. That's right. That's right. Look at me hulking up now. Ooh. I just took like 28 punches in the head, but... But I just threw that guy in the river. Nice. Whew. We're fucking kicking ass right now. Oh, I need to continue. But they're just human boys. They are. But they need their asses handed to them. Pieces of shit they are. They took a puppet. Don't forget that. They took this puppet, P. Mooney. Beautiful, beautiful P. Mooney on the cross. P. Mooney would die for your sins. My God. <sighs> Daddy, I was saying the internet is flowing good. Good for you. You deserve good internet. All right, here we go. Look at those mountains, Purple Mountains. If you guys want to hear a really good band, check out Purple Mountains. Uh, their lead singer, unfortunately, uh, hung himself a month after the album came out, David. But doesn't matter. They're still a good band. Look at those mountains and check out Purple Mountains. Check out the song Darkness and Cold. I want you to open like crack open a cores and check out darkness and cold these the purple sunsets are gorgeous aren't they aren't they in like the national anthem purple mountains and majesty upon the fruited plain America, America, God bless her with big boobs. 
and crown the good with brotherhood from sea to shining sea. I think it goes like that or something, but yeah, a lot of beautiful, beautiful purple mountains. We're not near them anymore. We're near a couple of jack dudes in the desert. But these dudes, they picked the wrong guy to fuck with. That's me. Because these guys stole my hand puppet, P. Mooney, and they're about to pay the ultimate price. That's right. And you, you son of a bitch. And you again. Ooh. Oh, they got me. They got me. But I, I kicked to get out. Don't ever let your fucking enemies put you in a trap you don't want to get out on. You know? You're always going to be golden. You're always warriors. Oh, we are just kicking ass and taking numbers. Oh, Jesus, you son of a bitch. You son of a bitch. I was just ready to celebrate. Nice. You're dead too now. That's it. Invade the enemy's base. Sounds like a great idea, right, guys? Let's do it. Remember, these assholes, they stole P. Mooney, this beautiful hand puppet. They must pay. They must pay the ultimate price. Hello, you son of a bitch. You didn't... Th oh, okay. I think I hurt my knee on that jump. But I'm back up. I'm kicking... I'm here to kick ass and fuck hand puppets, and I'm all out of ass. Wait. I'm here to... Something like that. I hear you. Would you... F oh, I fell off the bridge. That's okay. I got like a hundred quarters in the game. Infinite lives, motherfucker. Get up. Jesus, this guy is taking a pounding. He's almost too beautiful to kick the shit out of. He's wearing like beautiful, like, what is that? Oh my God, he has a brother too. I'm just going to keep walking. Hopefully these guys will see the light. Oh, what the hell? Oh, I got to climb up. I'll be up here, dudes. Yeah, that's, that's all right. Fall into my trap. Now I just hit you with a rock. You get a rock. You both get a rock. Rock City, you sons of bitches. Boom. Rocks all around. <laughs> They're walking Leo Sayer songs. I remember him. Beautiful classic rock guy from the 70s. Jesus, is it, they got a green looking motherfucker jacked up now. But I have a rock. Oh, he still got hit with the rock, though. You like the rock? Ah, oh, son of a bitch. I'm saving the game, and I'm having some cheese. We're doing good. I saved the game. Don't worry. Don't worry. I'm going to turn down the cries of my character. I'm going to turn up the music. Let's have a good time. Relax. It's just a game. We're real human beings. We're real human beings. We're making real human being art. Look at this. You know, we just have cheese, we have crackers, we have little tiny peppers for you guys. My dad didn't like Double Dragon. He didn't, it's true, it's true. Luke wants some corn nuts and some cucumber slices. You're living on the fucking edge. Lou Patillo would salute you. You're a fucking warrior, Luke. All right. Let's kick the shit out of these guys. Continue. Here we go. Right back into the thick of the action. And we didn't miss a beat. Just kicking ass. Kicking the shit out of the green guy. The green guy's the one we have to focus on. That's right. The jacked up six foot nine green guy. All right. Looks like game over. Looks like continue, though. Oh, he's running off screen. Well, I'm going to jump up here. I'm going to jump up on this little ledge here or some sh No, they won't let me. Oh, my God. Yeah, he looks like the Gooch from Different Strokes. All right, we killed him. He's dead. Just literally 
Yeah, we're right inside the base now. Fucking A. Look at this. It's covered in gold. Jesus, this looks like Scarface's hideout. Look at this shit. Why did they steal P. Mooney if they live in a place like this? My God, this is like Gucci. Look at these walls. They're Gucci walls. Oh my God. Oh Jesus, the walls are coming out at us. Hold on, I gotta do some karate. No, you can't fight the walls. I learned that the hard way right there. Do not, oh shit. How do I jump? How do I jump? Okay, I'm doing every button but the jump button. Lou Ferrigno, Lou Ferrigno jumping, Lou Ferrigno. Why am I saying Lou Ferrigno? Oh, because D Chime said it. I'm continuing. Thank you, I have like 100 quarters for this game. Come on, I wanna fight dudes. I shouldn't have to fight walls. Okay, I'm just plowing through this. Oh, look at this. We have to fight Patrick Swayze from the Outsiders. He just threw a firecracker at me. Whew. Yeah, this looks like the set for the Temple of Doom. Look at this shit. But we're not going to let this bother us. Don't be distracted by the walls. Let's just kick some ass, take some numbers, and talk shit about our enemies here on this Twitch stream. I'm Bob Patillo. Kaka kaka. Nice. That wasn't that hard. Oh, these guys are poking people. Why don't you get real jobs? Living in walls, poking people. That's no source of real income. Get a real job. I worked at a warehouse for two years in Brighton, Massachusetts. I delivered baby strollers. I had a Canadian girlfriend. I was living my best. And then it all fell apart. And now... I'm dressed up as a cow, and I'm beating up motherfuckers looking for a hand puppet that I, have, I haven't seen since I've been in kindergarten. I mean, I gotta be honest with you guys. If you want me to shoot straight, I haven't seen this puppet since kindergarten. I am a wonder. But he's always gonna be in my spirit. And maybe these sons of bitches, maybe they have P. Mooney. Nice. Look at me. I gotta grab that blade. Let me have that knife. Nice. I just threw the knife. Jesus, these guys can take a pounding. They've taken a pounding a whole game. I've beaten like several of these dudes. Ugh. I had another heart attack. He makes the saddest sound when he dies. Like, ooh, ooh. That's the sound I make every time I use a punch clock. Yeah, they look just like Lou Ferrigno. I remember you saying Lou Ferrigno before. Would you get off of me? That guy was hugging me from behind. What the fuck? Get off me, dude. You're either going to fight me or you're going to hug me. From the front, maybe. Or behind. I don't care. It's Wednesday. Hug me from behind. I don't care. Let's, let's loosen up. Nice. One of them's dead. Ooh. Nice. They all want to just sneak up from behind. Fuck that. Here, face me. There you go. Like an adult. Fight me like an adult. You stole a puppet. You stole a beautiful puppet. I'm putting in 13 quarters. If this was real life, I just blew my whole allowance at 1988. It is all completely gone, but it's not 1988, and I have infinite amount of quarters to beat the shit out of these guys thoroughly. Nice. Your friend's dead, too. Now it's just you. And you're gone, too. Oh, look at this red carpeting. Oh, look, there's my girlfriend. Where's P. Mooney, though? Where's my hand puppet? Show me the puppet. Let me know the puppet's still alive. Oh, my God. Infinite quarters on the mames. That's this emulator. Get off of me. Why are you always behind me? Get a real job. You piece of shit. Get over here. That's my wife. Look at her. I don't want her out of my eyesight. That's why I'm doing these fights. Oh, look at that skirt. Look at those legs, man. 
Oh, she is gorgeous. 1988. I would have date. I would have. I would have brought her to the Sizzler. We would have watched White Man Can't Jump. Yeah, she's probably nagging me though, but I don't care. I'm gonna save her. I'm gonna save her. I'm gonna save this beautiful hand puppet named P. Mooney. I'm gonna save the day. Wow, here we go. I'm grabbing the bat though. Give me the bat. Let me have the bat. Oh, you sons of bitches. These guys are fighting dirty. Okay. We're going to take them one-on-one. -on -one. Don't let anybody get behind me. If you see somebody get behind me, you scream. I'm talking to you out there. You have a job now. You're not just watching, waiting for me to say crazy manic shit. You're now helping me. If you see a guy behind me, go caca caca in the chat room. Caca caca. Make sure none of these assholes get behind me. They're soulless butt clowns that took the dirty deal in life. They could have gone to community college, a trade school, and instead they're trying to fuck with me and my wife. See her up there tied up. Oh shit, there's the boss. Fuck, man. They're bringing out the big guns now. I wish you guys could f help me on this right now. I mean, they're bringing out some real tough sons of bitches. Oh my god, I'm down. Uh, uh, I'm loading up the game with quarters. And yeah, if you can load up the chat room with Rob emojis or maybe some Lou Patillo emojis, we're at the final boss of Double Dragon for the arcade. Thank you. I see those Aaron the King Wizard emojis. Right behind that door is the final boss, and he's waiting for us. Right now, he's rubbing himself with pecan lotion, getting himself ready for the cameras. Oh, nice. We're kicking the shit out of Bigfoot here with the leather boots. Check out the leather boots on Bigfoot. Snappy Bakes in the house. Look at this. He's got gold booties on. I'm getting the shit kicked out of me by a guy and... Oh, Jesus. I just fell off a cliff I didn't even know I was on. Isn't that a metaphor for life? He's dead. Just down to teeth. These two goons. And the other guy who just conveniently jumped in. Nice, we're kicking ass now. We got the big guy with the gold booties out of the picture. Now this is just a cakewalk. We're about to avenge the fucking kidnapping of P. Mooney the Hand Puppet. And there's nothing any of these sons of bitches can do about it. They should have taken a trade school diploma. And instead they took dirty, dirty dope money. They're pushing fentanyl to the streets of fucking Massachusetts, these guys. Oh my god, they're, they're, they're made out of titanium though, but look at her. Oh, she's wearing beautiful pumps. She's got a red dress on. Uh, uh, come on, do it for your wife. Do it for your wife. Nice. One down, two to go, and oh shit, another one. All right, guys, come on. Oh, there's the boss. Jesus, he's got a gun? You have three guys defending you and you need a gun? Okay, we're, we're just gonna lay into that boss. He's got an M16 submachine gun, and he knows karate. Okay, so we're just... I don't care about these other dudes now. I just care about punching this dude in the big gold armor and the big gun right there. This is the guy that stole our hand puppet, P. Mooney. We just got to keep laying into him. D. Chimes just gifted a sub to Dara. That's beautiful. Oh, he just shot me when I saw that. I don't care. We're going to keep going. Say caca caca. They got behind me. I need you guys to signal me every time they're getting behind me. Ah, oh, they're all teeing off. I'm headbutting this son of a bitch though. There's fight in my heart. 
Yeah, thank you. Thank you. I see that divinity kitten. Caca caca. I'm still punching that son of a bitch. Four on one. I'm still punching that. Look, I'm kicking ass. Ah, uh, he shot me with the machine gun again. That'll, that'll kill you every time. How come I don't have a gun? I have 15 quarters, though. Oh, you son of a bitch. Look at him lean into the machine gun killing. Oh, that's it. That's it, huh? Okay. God, this eight, this eight up quarters. I'm punching you, though. You're getting punched, too. Yes, he's dead. He's dead. Your boss is dead. Go home. You're unemployed now, you sons of bitches. We did it. Son of a bitch, we did it. We saved my wife. Look at her. Hell yeah. Oh, look at the They show underwear in 1988. That's crazy. They just showed her underwear. And I'm dressed as a cow. She just freed herself. That's a great observation, cheeky girl. She actually could have just freed herself the whole time instead of making me fight all those guys. <laughs> but we also got back P. Mooney, our hand puppet. This is all incredible stuff, wonder, guys. Like, can we celebrate? They're showing the credits. They're showing the credits. We made it to the credits of a fucking arcade game. Like, do you know how hard that is? Oh my god, this is just Euro Disney right now. It's gonna be o I get a burp. It's gonna be okay. My god, we beat Double Dragon. Let's get out of this shit. That was incredible. I never beat Double Dragon in the arcade. I feel like a champion. Have some cheese. You'll never see me in a better mood, I swear to God. You'll never see me in a better mood. I beat Double Dragon. You know, those arcade, man, those arcades will set you free. Those video games, those video games will set you free, my friends. I went to this arcade, like I said, at the Liberty Tree Mall, Aladdin's Castle. That's a young Bob Patillo right there. And I met so many mystical people down here. Magic. Exciting characters in this arcade. It was my boys and girls club. I played Dragon Slayer. I, was go I got offered marijuana. Vermin Supreme used to go to this one. I mean, I know, isn't that awesome? Vermin Supreme would go to the Liberty Tree Mall and he'd go to Aladdin's Castle, just like me. Look at me. I was a young, beautiful Bob Patillo full of hope. I played Burger Time. I played a lot of incredible arcade games. I had tokens. My mom would give me $5 so I could buy $5 worth of tokens. And I could forget about all the people who fucked with me in life. My dad, angry Lou Patillo. I, 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 I could forget about them all. Yeah, Vermin Supreme used to go to Aladdin's castle. He was in Gloucester, Massachusetts. So it was pretty close to him. You know, what can I say? I was blessed to be so close to him. I lived around Salem, Massachusetts, and turned out he was only like 30 minutes away from me in Gloucester. I mean, those are miracles. All right, I gotta do this one. What's up, Nova Zulu? You came at the right time, my brother. We're about to play Map Mania. This is some serious shit. I gotta load this game with quarters. Load a bowl. You know I am. Look at that. We're almost like two girls living together at college. Our menstrual clocks are all perfectly in sync. Look at that. You're burning one down in honor. All right. I'll have to burn one down in honor of you. All right, we're not fucking around, though. There's no easy way out. 
We have to fight the insane warrior. We have to. Shit. This guy's a monster, man. All right, here we go. I gotta lock in. Try not to distract me. All right, we got him down. All right, he's got me down. Whew. I remember I used to play this at Danvers House of Pizza. My mom would give me $5 to get out of the house so she could go and make love to Big Lou. My sister caught them one time. She said that she saw my mom riding Big Lou, but she saw it she saw a mirror she saw my mom's reflection in the mirror of her riding what a vision and um <laughs> i'm gonna save. no i'm gonna keep going i mean because i want you guys to picture this guy big lou and he's a bottom <laughs> he's a bottom my mom's a top and my sister comes home from school and she looks in a mirror she looks in a mirror and she sees my mom and my sister wasn't afraid to describe it you know that she was riding you know and she made my sister made a noise like oompa, 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 oompa. <laughs> we won at least we won the match <laughs> oompa, oompa, oompa. it was weird <laughs> but that's what she said. <laughs> I'm putting up some emojis of my dad in the chat room, but that's what my sister said. That she could hear the sound. You know? And... Nice. We're now fighting the Karate Warrior. I can't sleep on these guys, and I can't pause. I can save the game, though. I should save it. That's right. Okay, I saved the game. So worst case scenario, we fight the Karate Warrior again. Jesus. Here we go, here we go. I'm still thinking about my mom riding. I'm sorry, my, that was heavy for me. I'm not just telling these stories to hear my own voice. I take them to heart. My mom, my sister saw, saw my mom in the mirror. Like, oompa, 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 oompa. Nice! Oh, I just totally fucked up that move. All the wrestlers backstage are laughing at me right now because I fucked that up. Vince McMahon, who's sitting in the gorilla position, <laughs> he's gonna yell at me as soon as I come through the curtains. I'm not looking forward to it. Let's just beat the shit out of this guy, though. Oh shit, he's reversing it. I gotta reverse it. Oh, karate kick! Jesus! Oompa, oompa. Yeah, Luke, you got it. That's what my sister said she heard. The sound my mom make. All right, I could be pinning this dude. Here we go. One, two, yes. I'm going to save it again. Oh, God. This is the hardest one, guys. Oh, shit. This isn't going to be good. Oompa, oompa, oompa. Oh my god, I'm not thinking of my mom. Here we go, here we go. This guy, oh my god, he's the best wrestler in the game. <laughs> that elbow, that elbow right there. And I had the burp. I got a lot of burps. Jesus, he is just laying into me already. It's like 10 seconds into the match and he's got like 20 of these elbows on me. He's the elbow king. The elbow, oh, he just... He screwed up bad. When he gets backstage, Vince McMahon's gonna yell at him too. You can't fuck up like that on live TV. You can't. There's ratings. Oh God, we're selling these people a vision. Here we go. I gotta kick the, I got a big comeback, big comeback, big comeback. Fancy clothesline into a body slam into another body slam. This guy's named Bob Patillo. He's a good, oh shit. He reversed it. Whew. Okay, I think it's even. Nope, they don't think so. He got up first. The video game thinks he's ahead. Oh, I pinned him, I pinned him. Oh, so close, so close, so close. He knows he made a mistake. He's elbowing me. Ah, oh, I'm getting my asshole handed to me. 
not a good wrestler right now. I gotta t tie him up into the pile driver. One more. Yes, pin him, Rob, pin him. Oh my God, did I win? No, 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 put your lighter down. Oh shit, 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 shit. Why did I have my lighter? Why did I have my, oh, Noogie City. This is a bully move. Come on. Ah, oh, that's sad. I thought I won. I grabbed my lighter. I was not robbed. The game is over, but that's why we use save states. I just beat the Karate Warrior. Let's try it one more time. Let's see if we can get our revenge. All right. I want the belt tonight. I deserve it. My name's Bob Patillo. I'm Lou Patillo's son. I can't show you right now. We're about to fight. Here we go. I wish I could show you my dad, but you can't pause on these goddamn arcade games. You can't pause. You can only hope. You can, uh, no breather. I'm sorry. Oh my God. He kicking my ass, just handing it to me in front of my hometown. Body slam. Here we go. Body slam. Come on, Rob. Oh, he reverses. Okay, I can only do two. I can only do two. Oh, no. Oh, no. Come on. I see you, Nova Zulu. I believe. I'll get him. Come on. Here we go. Nope. No. Jump, Rob. Jump. Yes. Get a pile driver going. Get a pile driver. Oh, shit. He swung me. Oh, my God. He's swinging me. Oh my, how embarrassing. I'm a loser. Okay. Oh my God. Enough. My nose itches, my nose itches, my, oh, come on, Rob. I, I think I'm going to get, that, that was, that was like Rocky four right there. The amount of, uh, the ass kicking I just got, but. I'm gonna try one more time. That's how, oh my God, he threw me around the ring like I was a rag doll. Man, I feel like a loser, but I know you guys believe in me. Let's try this one more time, and then I'm gonna, I'm gonna retire from wrestling. I'm gonna Groundhog Day it. Here we go. I'm just putting another quarter in the machine. Jeez, he's tough. He's tough. He's the best. Oh my God, look at this, no let up. Wow. Oh my God, this is the soundest ass beating. Oh wow, I got a fluke pin. But I didn't do any damage yet. He is just annihilating me. We're going to do it one more time. I just beat the Karate Warrior. I'm up and coming. You know what it is? I'm dehydrated. I'm dehydrated. All right. Hydrated. Back in the game. Oh, geez. He's already going. Give me a chance to just... Oh, he's running on rope to rope. I've punched him like 10 times. It does nothing. He's already pinning me. He almost got a two count already. I pinned him though, I pinned him. I got a two count though. So my punches are taking effect. But doesn't really matter because he's pinned me now. Oh! Oh no! I couldn't even get a pile driver on him. He's swinging me around like laundry. I'm just losing on 12 different levels. Oh my god. That's annihilation. That's annihilation. That's it. I leave the arcade in shame. I leave the arcade in shame. 
We didn't win on that one, but we learned lessons. We learned a lot. I'm just a young Bobby Patillo. I'm going down to Lance Castle. And some days I'm going to win. Some days I'm going to lose. But it's the friends we make along the way. We learn valuable life lessons in these arcades. They teach where Lou Patillo failed, where this man failed. Arcades pick up and they teach and they heal. Guys, how about we do a little bowling? You guys like bowling? I mean, a slow yes or a fast no. We can bowl. I have the equipment. Would you bowl with me? Would you? With me? Grab a ball. You know? Let's do it. Let's do it. I'm feeling it. Let's find bowling. Let's go bowling. Let's do it together, you know? All right, a real game. Here we go. Bob Patillo is up. He needs 10 strikes. All right, toss those balls. Here we go. I only have one button. I don't know why I'm struggling. Oh, I'll tell you what guys, every time I get a strike, I'll play the song, okay? So every time I get a strike on this game, we'll go to the bowling room and we're gonna party. It's gonna be like 1999. All right, Divinity Kitten says it works. Come on, Donnie. We're grabbing our balls, here we go. I don't have a strike on this one, but the next strike could be right around the corner. Here we go. Bob Patillo with four pins. Oh, oh. All right, all right, frame two. ACDC has the biggest balls of them all, according to their own song. Boom, yeah! That was awesome, that was awesome. Hell yeah. That's what it's about. I think we got another 10 frames though. We might be overdoing that, so let's uh, get back in there. Yeah, we got, we got like another 10 frames. I don't know why we, we celebrated that much, but I don't roll on Shabbas. I don't. Donnie, there, you live in a world, man, with rules, man. There's rules. Come on, Walter. Put down the piece. Here we go. Come on, Walter. Everybody's looking. Am I the only one that's going fucking crazy around here? The Big Lebowski. That's a great movie to watch. That is like warm milk. If you ever feel like you're not fitting in the world, watch The Big Lebowski. Over the line, Donnie. Tell me my dad isn't Walter from The Big Lebowski. When me and my sister went to see The Big Lebowski, we couldn't stop laughing because all we thought of was, this is our dad. Like, they put our dad into the movie. He screamed like my dad. He had a gun like my dad. He went to Vietnam like my dad. He looked like my dad. <laughs> He had the same brown tinted glasses as my dad. Like, over the line! And guess what? 
I'm not fucking joking. My dad loved bowling. My dad loved bowling. He was on the high school bowling team. He had trophies in the fucking basement. I'm not joking. I am completely convinced when I watched The Big Lebowski that somehow they met my dad and they turned him into a character. My dad is Walter. Oh my God, here we go, here we go. Frame four, we're not fucking around. Come on, another strike for the Gipper. Oh, so close, so close. These hands though. We're gonna keep going. We love bowling, we love America. Come on, come on. Get the spear, get the spear. Yeah. That doesn't get the bowling screen. But it's still pretty cool. Here we go, here we go. Come on, Bobby Hot Hands, Bobby Hot Hands. We're playing bowling for the Atari 2600. Okay. We just beat Double Dragon. Let us cool down. We'll get back into the arcade games. I need to cool down. All right, Market Zero. No, no, Walter, Market Eight. Market Zero, over the line. But they sent a toe, Walter. So they sent a toe. Who cares? A fucking toe. I, I can get you a toe by Tuesday. You don't want to know, but there's ways. I can get you a toe by Tuesday with blue toenail polish. Okay. Here we go. I'm going to try to get a strike on the seventh frame. Oh, I swung it too late. I'm going to try to drop that spare for you guys. I'm happy I got one striking. I could go to the bowling room. Ah, not my night. Sometimes you eat the bar, sometimes the bar eats you, dude. I like your style, dude. I like yours too, the whole cowboy thing. Ah, so close, so close, A-frame. Gonna try to get the spare, this is not an easy spare. Any professional bowler would tell you. My dad was a professional bowler. Here we go. Nova Zulu is bringing the smoothies. All right, I swung that way too. I'm way too stoned to bowl. But not way too stoned to play the song. Let's go bowling! I actually edited this, this video today uh, in terms of adding the footage to the song. I only remember the song because back in high school, I think Luke will back this up, um, I had these friends, Dan and Josh, and they used to, we used to drive to the car wash and there was this big line, and I have this on VHS tapes, and we would blast a song, and everybody would get out and start dancing in Danvers, Massachusetts, 1995. And like, we made some funny videos, man. We had some good times. It's a fun song, what can I say? I had fun friends. Okay, we got a couple frames left on the Atari bowling. Trying to just complete. Nice, that is a spare. That is a spare, so. Maybe I play the music? Yeah, here we go. So yeah, we're, we're playing the music, it's fine. It's a spare, it's a good song. We used to play this all around Danvers, Massachusetts, this song, we drive around and we play this happy tune, and I have it all on my videotapes. They're back in Massachusetts. I just have to get back to the East Coast and go to my dad's house. And I have VHS tapes of us dancing, video videotapes of us at car washes, one car wash in Danvers, dancing to that song. We blasted on the speakers, and then the uh, people who worked at the car wash were like, no, 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 you can't do this. We're trying to wash cars here. We can't have you guys dancing here. And we were in high school. We didn't give a fuck. We're like, we're dancing. It was like the movie Footloose. You know what? Come to think of it, 
Danvers, Massachusetts was like the town footloose, very conservative, very privileged. And they wouldn't let us dance at the car wash to that fucking bowling song. Maybe they're nihilists, dude. I mean, did you ever think she might have kidnapped herself, man? I mean, new shit has come to light. You know, just think about it. A young, beautiful wife living in these times. No, dude. That had never dawned on us. Ah, oh, so close. So close. And yes, that is him with Nancy Reagan while Ronald was still president. There was also a meet and greet later on with the president, but they had no time to take a photo. And those are the little Lebowskis. That's it. That is Atari Bowling. Dara is saying the fan theory is that Footloose plays in a Mormon town. I think it was in Danvers, Massachusetts. I, I would argue with you about that. Look at all these incredible titles. I have to do this one. I'm only going to do like one frame of it, but I have to because it is my favorite for the... Um, arcade cabinets they had it at Ann and Hope I played it last time I have to play it again I might play it on the day I die Wrestlefest I have to <sighs> best arcade cabinet of all time baby A little wrestling trivia from Broodman. Who is the first wrestler ever photographed with a president? That's a good one. I have no clue. I'll say Bruno San Martino. Here we go. Here we go. I'm going to do the rumble. Now let's, let's have a tag team match first. All right. I'm going to be Jake. The Snake Roberts. And I'm also going to be the Million Dollar Man. This is a bad guy tag team. A heel tag team. I'm going to make you bleed. You're going to be begging for your life. And I'm going to rub the snake all over you. Remember he had to bring a snake to every town? They had to go to like a pet shop for Jake the Snake and pick up a new snake. They had to pick up a new Damien in every town. Oh my god. And he would bring it to the wrestling ring. He had a big duffel bag and it had a snake in it. Are they going to sing the national anthem too? Come on. Let me fight these guys. I know. Poor noodles. Poor snakes. But Jake the Snake needed it. I mean, the crowd would go nuts. They're like, where's the snake? And they'd have to pull this big confused boa constrictor out in front of like 20,000 people. WrestleMania, sometimes 70, 100,000. Remember when the Cobra bit the Macho Man? Hell yeah. Was the Macho Man the first one to meet a president brood man? Oh shit, he tagged his tag team partner, the big boss man. I'm bringing in the million dollar man. Corporate power against capitalistic police power. This is beautiful. The million dollar man thought everybody could be bought. And he, he eventually bought the WWF World Championship. Dirty money. I loved it. I loved when he yelled at people. Get on your knees and lick my boots for a hundred dollars it, it was awful and these people would do it he, they would have these promos where he grabs someone out of the audience and make them do like 10 push-ups and then he knock them down on a ninth one. Oh, you don't get the money you only made it to nine. Ooh, I think I got a pin here I think I got a pin here ah oh, so close so close I think he's ready for the million dollar dream though Oh, Jake the Snake just administered the DDT and I have the million dollar dream on the son of a bitch. He gave up. I won. Oh, I, I won. I put him in the million dollar fucking dream. That felt good. That felt like yoga. That felt like, you know what? I'm going to leave on a high note. 
Yeah, the million dollar man made that kid dribble basketballs. I um played Double Dragon and, and, and spent some time because I was kicking its ass. Um, putting on a show, but I want to play a couple of them in rapid fire. Check this one out, Paperboy. But it's the Sega Genesis version, and it really does tribute to the arcade. It is really one of the finest I've seen in the Paperboy series. Here we go. Oh my god, Renix Diario. All right, I think I'm doing easy street. Those are my customers. Look at this. Segunda. All right. Gonna kick some ass. Oh, broke a window. But I also got one on the doormat. I, I hope they forgive me. Oh man, okay. There, I see that dog. I see that dog in the driveway. I gotta avoid the dog. Oh, look at the spooky house. We're gonna light up the windows. Nice. Oh, I didn't even hit the window. Whew, come on, Rob. Gotta hit the mailbox. This is a customer. Here we go. Eh, I got one on the mat. That's not bad. I'm like 12 years old. I have a paper route in Danvers, Massachusetts. I'm a fucking god. I never had a paper route. I played video games. I didn't get a paper route. I know my friend Jesse did. Jesse Littlefield had an awesome paper route. I loved watching him deliver the papers. I'm like, you're really cool, dude. I could never go door to door and ask these people for money. I don't have your $5.60. This was 1987. Go away. Okay, I got, I got fresh papers. I'm going to light up this house. We got to cross the street. A lot, of, a lot of dragsters. A lot of dragsters on that street. Here we go. Oh, look at the beetle bugs. It's 1987. Jose Canseco is having sex with Madonna. Michael Jackson, black or white, is out there. I want my two dollars. Better off dead. What a good movie. Classy movie. All right. I'm hitting my customers. So I'm doing good. Don't pull out, lady. Don't pull out, lady. Come on. Here we go. Here we go. I'm the paper boy. This reminds me of a street in Somerville. This is like Alston or Cambridge. All these crazy characters coming out. The crazy homeless guy in Central Square of Cambridge. Better Off Dead was a classy good movie. John Cusack, 1985. All right, I gotta break up this fight with newspapers. Boom, he won. Oh look, there's Freddy Krueger. He got a newspaper too. I just gave Freddy the news. All right, here we go. Kicking ass. All right, locked and loaded. Got to go through the obstacle course. Big jumps. Here we go. Here we go. Believe in me. Believe in magic. I'm hitting targets. I got unlimited newspapers. My body's feeling good. Oh, I, I ran out of time. I was showboating. All right. Red the Cat. We lost some customers, but we get to see Red the Cat. Beautiful sexual cat. We all love her. Here we go. It's Tuesday. She's outside right now. She loves when the weather is warm in Southern California. Who wouldn't? It's, it's a blessing. Every day I wake up and it's like, praise Jesus, praise Jesus. Southern California cats. I love Southern California cats. They're hornier. They're hornier because they're more comfortable. When a cat sees winter, when a cat puts its tiny little paws in the snow, that's awful. Those cats are changed forever. I'm going to light up this house thinking about that with newspapers. Oh, look at this construction guy. I think I'm going to hit him with the paper. Boom. Right there. I'm a king right now. Oh shit. Oh, I hit the remote control car. Every time I brag, every time I brag people. Here we go. Here we go, locked and loaded. This guy's breakdancing. We're gonna interrupt it with the news. 
All right, I'm getting a reload. And this is an honest job. I probably made like $4 doing this paper route. My God. There's a fresh amount of papers for me, a fresh stack of papers. I'm gonna hit the little guy and his brother with, and the big wheels with the paper. Oh, look at the cat, there's Red. Look at, look at Red, look at Red right there. I'm gonna, oh, I got hit with the bees. The bees came up from behind. Oh my God, bees from behind. The cat was up front. What did you guys expect out of me in that situation? Any guy would go down. Oh, it's not the bee's knees. It's the bee's hell. Oh, that lawnmower is going to get some paper action. It's really fun, man, to play this game. Stoned, talking to you guys, throwing newspapers. It's, it's very spiritual. I feel like I'm surfing. Oh, I just totally skipped out on that stack of papers. Oh, I can't break up this fight now. I'm going to do it with my bike. I broke up the fight with the bike. I'm a hero. I just lost a life to break up that fight. That's the type of guy I am. If I have a life to give you. Oh! I was bragging again. And I hit the trash. Oh, shit. Okay. I'm no longer capable of being a paper boy. Ugh. Oh. Paperboy is fired, El Fuego. <sighs> Take some cheese. Take the cheese. Eat it. Put it in your fucking mouth. I need some sparkling ice. All right. Locked and loaded. Take a tiny pickle. I mean, yeah, take the cucumbers. The cucumbers are usually the last to go on this. But also, don't be afraid to take a pickle. Tiny little pickle. All right. Done, paper boy. That was fine. We had fun. Let's see what else we got. Oh! Miss Pac Man. Lady Pac Man, 1981. Oh my god, omnivore. Look at Miss Pac-Man load up. Listen to those credit sounds. Whew, here we go. If you've played this in the arcade, you are a queen. Or a king. Mostly a queen. Here we go. This is royalty right here. If I can get to the love scene with Pac-Man, I just missed the cherries, but I got to get the little dots. These ghosts are monsters. They're trying to break. Oh, right there. See right there. I've got to lock in. I want Miss Pac-Man back with Mr. Pac-Man having Pac-Man unprotected pack sex. I want that to happen for these guys. They deserve it. Been vaccinated. They're ready to come out. They're ready to mingle. Okay, we're putting on a show here. We're putting on a show here. Nice. Yeah. Oh, I thought I was eating his friend. All right. Pac-Man and Ms. Pac-Man are not sleepers. You got to fucking wake up. You're in a you're in an arcade. It's 1981. You got a lot of guys behind you waiting to play this game. There was only two games in the arcade. Oh, I'm going to get a strawberry. I'm going to get more power-ups. I'm going to get some of these ghosts. I just ate a lot there. If you're keeping count of the food, I ate like a ghost and a strawberry with the pills and the power pellet. Oh! Oh man, pulling off some crazy moves right now. That was some. Whew. All right. Game over, but we're doing it again. We're doing it again. Just waking up, just waking up. This is Miss Pac Man, the arcade. She's single, she's ready to mingle. We're gonna do this right now. God damn it. 
a 70-year-old Bobby Patillo putting on a show at Aladdin's castle. Okay, no. That's not happening. Okay, grabbing the pellets. I just want to get to level 3. On level 3, that's where she sees her boyfriend, Mr. Pac-Man. And they, they, it's a great, they play a, a beautiful little organ behind it. Like a song in between rounds to die for. <sighs> Alright, putting on a show here. Putting on a show. We got a couple more pellets, but they're all lined up around them like the state police. So we're going to pull off some maneuvering like that. And we... Ooh! I slipped up at the end. Pac-Man is a very mental game. You gotta clear your mind and get the pellets. Whew. Here we go, round two, no lives. We gotta buckle down, we gotta concentrate. Nice maneuvering right there. Ms. Pac-Man, 1981. Chips was on the television. Reagan's in the White House. John Lennon just got shot and I just got killed there. We're going to get out of Pac-Man right now. And we're going to make it happen. Switching up to the cheese platter. Have some cheese. Have some magic. And we're just going to spin it around to Mr. Do. You weren't born in 1982? Here we go. Locked and loaded. Look at that music. Look at those cherries. And I guess I gotta get those little oil cans. I gotta drop them somehow. I gotta, 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 I gotta get out of Pac-Man fever. Ooh, what did I just eat? A candied apple? Whoa, jeez. A lot of things happening really quick here. I'm dropping some oil cans, collecting cherries. Oh, that guy killed me. But at the same time, I still dropped like an oil can on him. Oh, I had to go through them to get. This is Mr. Do. 1982 right there we just made it to level two mr do 1982 we just got to collect those cherries that's what it's about clearing your mind getting those damn cherries <sighs> making money moves right now <sighs> locked in locked and loaded Oh my God, the horses are surrounding me. I'm pulling off some crazy moves right now. I got the whole cavalry behind me. Boom. Right there, now level three of Mr. Do. A shit ton of momentum right now. Do not sleep on my moves. I'm turning up the Mr. Do music. Oh, we just took out some sons of bitches right there. Oh, where did he come from? He came up at the midnight hour. Whew. Thank you for the Rob emojis. I'm going to do it again. Look, I already got first fucking place in the arcade. People would go nuts around me right now. Oh, you're really good at Mr. Do. Can I suck your peanut? Wow. Here we go. Getting back on the Mr. Do horse. We just got to collect these cherries. Sometimes you can overthink collecting cherries. And you just got to clear your mind, focus on the positive music and the friends you have in your life, and just get... Oh, I got hit with an oil can. Where were my friends there? They abandoned me. Oh, look, there's cake. Okay, we got to get some cherries before those sons of bitches come out. Nice. He died. Oh, I died too. I just want to clear one more round of cherries. It's very therapeutic to clear rounds on this game. <sighs> okay, making moves. Boom. 
Right there. That's all I wanted to do was one more round on Mr. Do. Status and power indeed. Have some cheese, relax. We have a couple more minutes on the stream. Beautiful times. We learned a lot. We learned about the arcade. We learned about me going to the Liberty Tree Mall. There I am, a young, hopeful Bob Patillo right there. Alligator t-shirt. Look at that arcade. I was a king. I got tokens. I was away from my angry dad and bullies at school. There was hope in the air. I thought I was going to be an astronaut or a baseball player. Anything was possible at the fucking arcade. It didn't happen. It didn't happen. I'll tell you what did happen, though. A little Michael Jackson moonwalker at home. Annie, are you okay? Here we go. Remember to visit the Discord. Remember to warn your friends about the scenes. This is the Sega Genesis version. We didn't even get too much of this last time. It's just, oh my God, a classic. He's coming into the room. Ooh. Ah. Dancing. Just dancing. I'm feeling good now. I got my kick moves. Ah, oh, it's such a healing sound. So slick. There's something in my eye, but I'm still being slick. Okay, he... I was trying to dance and he snuck up from behind. We gotta save the children. We gotta save them all. They're all... Get away from me. Oh, nice. I can walk on the piano like Tom Hanks and Big. But it's all about saving these kids. They're the real heroes. We gotta check behind the doors. Look, another one. <sighs> okay, I'm distracted by Michael. We all get distracted by Michael. And we're just trying to save some more kids. We're trying to... Ooh, son of a bitch. Here we go. How many more do we have to save? There's two more missing. <laughs> I don't know why this game didn't sell. It, it seems so accessible. Michael saving the children and, and that beautiful crotch move. I, I, it, it didn't, this one didn't do as good as Sonic. Or Mario. Look, there's Bubbles. Bubbles, the magic chimpanzee that brought happiness to a lot of people. It got a lot of publicity, but it it certainly didn't get a Moonwalker too. you know? It didn't do too good. I'm sorry. Here we go, though. Come on, Michael. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Bad guys. Bad guys everywhere. Let's dance. Let's dance, boys. Come on. Yes. Nice. And that is the end of round one. Yeah, Michael was huge back in the day, but just because he was huge doesn't mean the video game becomes huge. You know? I mean, Shaq Fu didn't do good. Shaq Fu bombed. You know, a lot of E.T. E.T. for the Atari. That was a huge movie that bombed for the Atari Home Council. This one bombed too. It gets kind of boring. Okay, I'm dancing. I'm Michael Jackson. I'm fucking bored now, all right? Yeah. You know, it's, it's, it's the same thing over and over. But not, not Metal Slug though, baby. War is hell. We haven't shot a lot of people tonight yet. Here we go, baby. The Neo Geo system. All right. War is hell. Come on, baby. Let's do this. These guys have kidnapped P. Mooney, our puppet, and we have to pump some rounds into them. 
Warhawk is in the house. Surprise, motherfuckers, we're here. This looks like South America. I don't know, but I'm seeing like Mayan temples in the background. We're saving POWs though. Look at that old sub. Incredible, incredible things happening. I know, poor Piggy. A lot of violence. Even I got killed there, but I'm back. Oh, we got a flamethrower. Carnage and destruction with my friends. This is a great way to forget about your enemies for a little while. Forget about how lonely life can be and what a lonesome, lonesome road it can be sometimes. When you're blowing up helicopters that probably cost their government 50, 60 million, that type of helicopter with that type of technology, I think, you know, and we're just blowing up their equipment left and right. Whatever country we've been sent to destroy with this carnage. Oh, look at that. We're in some sort of just little hovercraft robot from the Transformers fighting Airwolf. So much happening. Oh, nice. This thing does some damage. Blowing up a lot of shit right now. They got a great crossover with the Airwolf people. Look at the size of that boat in the background. They got the Transformers in here. They got POWs from the movie Platoon in here. Do I got... Oh, I got cannons too. I got everything. Jeez, they're bringing out the heavy artillery now. We got heavy artillery too. I'm firing bombs right into the center. Oh, they're firing theirs. Do you got a special? You got... Oh, what, what is that? More cannon, more cannon. We need... Oh, shit. I'm out of the cannon. I think we did it. I think we have just defeated round one. Just like that. That is incredible. Yes. Yeah. We saved two POWs, if anybody was keeping track. Hell yeah. Got a couple minutes left. We're just going to keep rocking and rolling. And try to save a couple more of our brothers and sisters. That's all we can do. These guys were having a little steamed hot dog dinner. We come in raising hell, raising Cain. Ah, nice. Where are you going? Let me save you. Give me some weapons. Give me something. Oh, look at this. We got to crawl. Does my guy crawl? Where's my crawl button? I'll fucking jump it. So worried about crawling, I can just jump the shit. Oh, slice my neck open. These guys are monsters. Okay. Oh, they're in the sky. We got to light them up. Like hot pockets in the sky burning before they even touch the ground. Oh my god. I gotta tell you, when you use this flamethrower, it's just electrifying the way it feels in your hand. I wanna continue. Do I gotta put quarters in? Oh hell yeah. Okay, we're back. Unlimited lives. We got grenades, we got guns. We have enough marijuana to take down a small village. Everybody's happy, here we go. Oh, look at this, it's like off the set of Titanic. Jumping bridges. I think I just died. I'm going to launch a lot of grenades here. Yes. Ooh, we got a rocket launcher now. Hot pockets in the sky, baby. Lighting them up. Never forget this evening. November, November 5th. A night of treachery and pl... Oh, he got me with a bullet. All right. Oh, God. They got that guy hanging on the signpost. Okay, we gotta blow up this boat. Look at that guy lounging on the back of the boat. Wake up, buddy. Uncle Sam says, fuck you. Joe Biden says, happy Easter. Fuck. A lot of violence, a lot of violence happening right now. That boat is going down though. A lot of magic. This game would definitely be a little bit triggering for my dad, Lou Patillo. A little bit. Lou Patillo would not like to see all the violence. I'll, I'll have to show him this when I come to town. 
now that I'm vaccinated. Hell yeah, I'm continuing. I'm, I love it. I love dropping the hand grenades, raising hell. Jesus, how many boats are there? <sighs> yeah, I try to tell him it's cartoon <laughs> violence. Dad, it's just cartoon violence. He's like, that's what really happened over there. They had the airwolf helicopter. And <laughs> I'm like, are you serious? No. He never said they had the airwolf helicopter. <laughs> Here we go. Locked and loaded now. Metal Slug Part 1. We're at a fishing wharf in Gloucester. Amazon is forcing these employees to work at the docks for $10 an hour. No benefits. And we're going to liberate these guys. Give them 15 an hour like Bernie Sanders hoping for. And we're going to liberate them from the Nazis or whoever the fuck we're killing right now. I don't know. Jeez, look at the size of that gun up there. It's got its own crazy train. It's got its own rail system. It's shooting very slow blue bullets at me, though, that aren't very effective. Just going to get up here, see if I can uh, toss some bombs at its undercarriage. Of course we're going to continue. We get some extra firepower, and there he goes. He's dead, folks. Stick a fork in him. He's done. Oh, my God. We're going up against Jeff Bezos and Nestle and Nike. Nike's got a couple of helicopters in this. Oh, look at this. We're liberating people. It's like Normandy. The bombs are being launched. None of these guys gave me something good, though. They gave me just like little coins. Oh, look at these planes. And these sons of bitches sneaking up, tossing hand grenades. Joe Biden says, Happy Easter, you cocksuckers. Man. Oh, wow. Look at the size of that one. Are they throwing that one at us? Yeah, they are. Shit. Liberation. Here it comes. Oh, my God. This is the boss. What? Oh, jeez. Look at the size of that motherfucker. Oh, my God. The guy's got like a... Torpedo shooting off the top of that goddamn plane. I've never seen such a travesty of aeronomics mixed with the water. I guess they have the budget. Just gonna keep shooting at the undercarriage. Try to stay positive during all this. Ah, oh, they're throwing like little basketball grenades. Ah, oh, there, there's the son of a bitch there. There's like the Fidel Castro, Che Guerva, whatever they're stereotyping. Oh, he shot us. He shot us out of the thing. I have ejected. The thing has blown up. I'm going to attempt to finish this guy off. And I did. Just a couple of hand grenades. That was beautiful. Look at that. Another round. We saved no POWs, everybody died, but isn't it about the friends we made along the way? That was Jeff Bezos and his ex exto skeleton. Oh shit, we're in the snow. It's cold. Looks like my character is shivering. While I smoke weed and relax. Alright. Rome wasn't built in a day. It's time for hell and carnage. Come on! These motherfuckers stole my hand puppet P. Mooney. Yeah, I don't think we've seen the last of Jeff Bezos in this game. Or Nestle Quick. I'm gonna give it another go. One more round. Got like a couple minutes left on this stream, but we're saving POWs. I can't ignore POWs. I'll hear their cries. I got a really itchy nose, though. Oh, my God. I'm sorry. I'm not going to ignore it because I want to enjoy killing people. I would be the same way if I was a real soldier. I'd be like, hold on, guys. I have an itchy nose, and I want to scratch it. Oh, yes. Jesus, they're coming from above. 
I'm looking side to side and they're just sniping me. Is that it? Oh no, they're sending another airwolf at us. I'm like just shooting him with like a 22. Am I really doing that much damage? Am I really gonna take down this five million dollar air atrocity? Oh look, a love letter. I wonder what it says. All right, we're up. Moving forward, trying to stay positive. Got a big jump there, we made it. All of this is good shit right now. And don't forget, these sons of bitches, they stole this puppet, P. Mooney. Beautiful, sexual P. Mooney. He died on the cross. A blind puppet that can see more than any of us. And he's right there. He'll always be in our soul. Oh, we got a... Uh, you know, I didn't, I didn't save it in time. But praise to P. Mooney. This beautiful puppet right here has just inspired so many people. We, we have a whole section, a whole channel for him on the Discord. He's an incredible puppet. Metal Slug's fun. It's fun, I'm not gonna lie. But I want to do some karate. I'm tired of shooting people. I want to kick them for a while. I used to play this one down at Sunnyside Bowling Alley. It smelled like cigarettes and failure. But still, I went in there. I was a hopeful young man. And I just wanted... I, I just... Just wanted... Just wanted some magic. This is a beautiful one. Your love, Sylvia, she's in custody now. If you want her, you're gonna have to do Kung Fu for several levels. And we're just like that. That music, everything takes me back. I can't take my fingers off the controller. I can't even look at the chat room. These guys are coming 12 at a time from each side. I know you guys are saying intelligent, smart things in the chat room right now. And I can't even look. I feel like a divorced dad that can't even have time to see his stepkid or his original kid. Oh, you son of a bitch. You think you can just tee off on knives? All right, here we go. There's the end boss. He's got a stick. And he's dead. And just like that, round one. Nice. Remember, these guys stole P. Mooney. Right there. That fucking puppet. These guys took that. And we have. Oh, shh! My god, they're. Jeez, two shots! Well, it looks like this floor is significantly harder. Jesus Christ, just came right out of the blue like that. They got the snakes at the floor. Gotta jump snakes. There's a dragon. There's another one. They got a pinata. Fuck! It's like ten times harder than the first level. A lot of calisthenics, you're jumping, a lot of getting used to movement. I'm not punching a lot, I am moving a lot. Oh, I got hit, Oh, Two shots kill you. My guy's a pussy. We get out of there. I'm not gonna be a pussy in life. Just because your character's a loser on these games doesn't mean you have to be a loser too. You can be a winner, you can be anything you are. You want to be if you set your mind to it. Ooh, I want to play Journey. Journey, the video game. Please take some cheese. Remember, I can't take all this cheese home with me. You guys remember the band Journey? Don't stop believing. This is a beautiful one. They actually had this in the fucking arcade. 1981, the band Journey, Don't Stop Believin', had an arcade game. And you have to save the band. Here's the band, I'm not joking. You'll recognize the music. We have to first save Steve Perry. Look at his head. It has Steve Perry's head on it. Isn't that fucking funny? Doesn't that make you happy? All right, I have to get him reunited with the mic stand while avoiding these turnstiles at the stadium show. 
And I did. And now it turns into space invaders. Look at that. Just like that. We have to get them to the finish line up there. All right, here we go. Making money moves right now as Steve Perry from Journey. This is a classic from 1981. You would play this in the arcade. You'd be very excited and hopeful. Jesus, I got to shoot these turnstiles. I got to make it to that finish line. They got the wall up. Boom, I made it. Look at that. We saved Steve Perry. I'm always good at saving Steve Perry. I'm not good saving the other band. All right, here we go. I got to save the piano player, Jonathan. I basically have to jump over like these obstacles. So I'll press up to jump like that. I got to press up to jump. Okay, I got it now. Oh, I, I, I didn't have a chance. I landed on that one. Ah, oh, poor Jonathan. All right, let's try to save the drummer of Journey right in the dick. Okay, this one, I got to jump on these drums. And I guess maybe I have to reach my drum over there. Oh my. Turn all the drums blue. All right. This is Journey. Very ex. Oh! I just turned my guy blue. I think I can do that one. I'm going back on the drummer's horse. This game is fucked. We're all fucked. Life's fucked. All right, we gotta turn all the drums blue though. Maybe life won't be as fucked. Here we go, we'll turn, you, turn your friend blue. Turn you blue. Oh no! <laughs> I just killed the drummer from Journey again. Blood on my hand, blood on my hand. All right, we're gonna start to lock in the final couple minutes. Let's see if we can sneak another one in Indiana Jones. Gauntlet. Oh, I know which one I want. Under J. Jungle King. I used to play this at Chuck E. Cheese. I shit you not. Chuck E. Cheese, 1983, 84. Jungle King j just came out. We're putting quarters in. Listen to the soundtrack. I love it. Oh my god. So hopeful. Here we go. Jumping into action. We're the Jungle King. We're making the moves. We gotta save our wife from these fucking monsters. Whew. Never give up on life. There's gonna be a lot of enemies. A lot of shit clowns that are trying to plot against you. You just gotta keep swinging. And keep hopeful. Alright, here we go. Look at that beautiful little yellow mini dress I'm wearing. Boom. All right. Come on, baby. Boom. Yeah, we're going to get there. We got to be positive. Listen to the music. It's invigorating. One of the best soundtracks ever for an arcade game. Here we go. Getting in the water. We're over some fields. If we land, I think we survive. Here we go, thank you. I am your jungle king, I can do anything. All right, except find the water in this fucking game. Come on, let's go. I think we can all see ourselves working out to this jam. It's, it's invigorating. I hear the soundtrack in my head all day. That's why I have turned it up. Oh, there's the water, dive in. Here we go, we're underwater. We're wearing tiny little red underwear. I don't wanna kill any of these alligators. I do need oxygen though, and I have to kill that one. I'm breathing. That's our little oxygen meter up in the upper right. Beautiful blonde hair my guy has. Avoid those air bubbles. My elbow itches, I'm scratching it on the chair. Oh, I need oxygen, I need oxygen. I got oxygen, here we go. Got to avoid those air bubbles. A lot of things happening at once. We got to remain hopeful. We're underwater, but we can't be underwater for too long. Whew, crafty. And we made it. We're now on the rocks. There's excitement as we run up a hill. We're now redheaded. I don't understand the plot line. We keep changing our hair color. I'm envious. That Tarzan yell. It's the shit. Let's make that Tarzan yell happen again. Oh, I sprained my ankle. 
Gotta just jump these rocks. That's what it's about. We're climbing a mountain to... T oh! Just got my knees taken out. Okay, down to the last life. I'm gonna save the game. I'm gonna keep saving now. Because I want to beat this game. That's how much I believe in you guys. Oh, I hit, but I didn't. There we go. We're back again. Oh, I hit. What's wrong with that rock? I gotta take my time with... Oh, it's a... I see what it is. It's a... It jumps up in the air. There we go. I'm gonna save it quick because that was a tricky rock. I'm gonna keep saving it. Jesus, how many rocks do they want you to jump? Oh! Wow! That was a great move right there. Oh, but not that one. Come on, making moves, making... I've done like 20 miles in mountains on this. Nice, we made it. Alright, here we go, here we go. Could Burrow Dads just subscribed again? Locked and loaded. We gotta jump over these monsters here. And now I have purple hair. I'm gonna save it. Oh, look at my lady friend up there. Blonde, going up and down. This could be the second time we save a lady tonight. Oh, but not on that one. Game over, but it's not. Here we go. Oh, look at my lady friend up there. Deja vu. We save. So close. Here we go. <laughs> my nose itches. Hold on. <laughs> it, he's in my head. This guy's in my head. There. Yay. Love's in the air. A hero's journey. Oh. Oh wow, and that's our child. We now play the game as our child. Love is in the air, look at him. He's as strong as his parents. That scream. <sighs> that's lemon. They made lemon. Oh my God, that's our child, lemon. And our child's dead. Goodbye, Lemon. Let's have some cheese. And let us not mourn the death of Lemon, but let, let us celebrate life. Let us celebrate hope. Oh, look, I found a joint. Let us celebrate what it's like to grow up. Going to arcades. Hello, Aladdin's castle. Look at a young Rob. So hopeful. You get some tokens. You're listening to the karaoke version of Against the Wind. It's classic. That's where I want to go when I die. When I go to heaven, I want to be in one of these goddamn arcades, wandering around, looking for you. Hopefully you'll be up there too, will you? Will you meet me up in my heaven? I'm going to play one more game for you guys. I want to just shout out to all you who have stuck around. I appreciate all the magic we have created tonight playing a lot of these games. Ah, oh, so many I want to play right now. Maybe I'll do a stream tomorrow night. Maybe we'll get to a couple of other ones. Crime City, baby. These assholes have taken the dirty deal. And they're now going to pay a heavy price here. In Crime City. Load it with quarters. It's me, Tony. There's a prison break on my day off. Alright, we got to do this. If you haven't already, sign up for the Discord. We have a lot of crazy conversations over there. I'm going to put up my dad's emojis. And we're going to get to this prison break. That's us right there. Our name's Todd. And we're going through a city. There's been a prison break. And all these prisoners, they're stolen the outfit. 
Looks like the outfits for the security officers. So they're stolen outfits from all the officers, the correctional officers in this facility, facility that they have just escaped from. And every time we shoot one of them, they drop cocaine. Okay, now they have guns too. Jeez, they're shooting. My, my lip was itching, so I had to scratch that. And there's a lot of things happening real quick here. But we cannot forget that these sons of bitches have escaped from a prison. Look at that jack, dude. But he's dead. We're going to take his gun. And now we have a machine gun and a little bottle of whiskey. And we're just... Oh, it's an invincibility potion. A lot of momentum right now. And look at that. Just like that, we're away from the prison escape and we're on the docks. We're near... Oh, look at the size of that son of a bitch. That looks like Whitey Bulger. Shit. Oh, my God. I got to continue. We're going to kick Whitey Bulger's ass. Nice. All right. We're fighting Whitey Bulger right now in Boston Harbor, dude. We just beat him up. I'm going to arrest him. This is the fucking show, The Departed, dude. It's like that fucking movie, The Departed, man. I'm going to put up some big Lou emojis. Oh my god, they robbed a bank. They robbed a bank. I'm getting off the helicopter. And I got to get to the bank now. I got to run to it. Okay. I get only two buttons on this controller, but yet... It's kind of confusing for me because I'm slightly stoned. Oh, I just got shot in the kneecaps by Steve Buscemi. Actor Steve Buscemi on top of that 18-wheeler. Oh, there's Steve Buscemi again. Look at that. It looks just like him. But now I have a shotgun. The next guy in the pink, like, really look at his face. It's a dead ringer. Look at that. It's Steve Buscemi. God damn it. That shit just captivates me for hours. Look at him. He's there again. I gotta itch my nose, and I'm gonna jump on the next car. Jeez, my big, dumb Polish nose always gets me in trouble. Mr. Pink. I don't think I'm gonna get to this bank robbery here. But just like that, we're back in the game, kicking ass, fighting Steve Buscemi. Oh my god, I can't. Yeah, I guess I'm going on a really fast highway. And I should concentrate jumping car to car. Oh, we're at the bank. No, we're in a parking garage. Oh, look at these dudes flying through the air with the ski mask. Violence is everywhere. Where is the bank, though? I thought this was supposed to be a bank robbery. We have a machine gun. We're pumping rounds into a lot of people who look like Steve Buscemi or John Gooden in a ski mask. And we're just trying to get to this bank. Oh, son of a bitch. That guy's got a chick held hostage. Oh, I just killed the chick. Oh God, I hope no one saw that on Twitch. I just shot a hostage. You know, you sleep with that at night. A lot of people think, oh man, it's so great you save all these people, but you really remember the ones you lost. Shit, we're having like a really low rent shootout in the parking garage. Man, it's happening right now. I gotta shoot that guy in the back. He has a Molotov cocktail. A Doberman Pinscher just ran by. It's a lot of things to wrap your head around. Doesn't look like we're anywhere near a bank. There's Steve Buscemi again. I was told that there would be a bank at the back of this parking garage. I just got hit by a Ferrari. A lot of expensive cars for such a shitty looking shady 80s parking garage. Oh, I just got shot in the neck. A lot of barrels. Why? Where are the barrels here in a parking garage? <laughs> and they're throwing Molotov cocktails at us from a half mile away. No, 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 no. Oop, shit. They're, they're on both sides, just tossing them like footballs. All right, is there a level three? No, we're inside the bank now. Oh, shit. They're, th 
These are all the bank robbers. We're inside the bank. These are the sons of bitches that have taken the dirty deal. One of them has a bandana and he's throwing Molotov cocktails. Another one's in a ski mask. Oh, there's a son of a bitch. He has a hostage. I gotta be careful not to shoot the hostage. There, she's free. We did it. We really saved the day. That was incredible. We caught hold of the bank robbery. We saved a lot of fucking people. Ooh, look at those guns. Smuggling. I think I'm gonna smuggle out of this game. I'm gonna go to the cheese platter. Take some cheese. I'm about to get out of here. I wanna salute you guys. You guys are the real magicians. Remember, you guys are all beautiful artists. Last week we had Cheeky Girl and Snappy Bakes, who are, I think, big fans of even this Twitch stream, doing their own Twitch streams. And we like saluting all the other creative types out there. Don't forget that Brood Man made this beautiful unicorn picture. Overweight unicorn. Good times. Snappy Bakes made this beautiful hand puppet, Big Lou. You guys are all artists, remember that. Magicians, dreamers. I'll see you soon, maybe tomorrow night, I don't know, but either way, be 